you can only have 150 people on this sky bridge at once. This is the first rope bridge I've ever been on, but it's really well built. Like these are steel cables. I don't know how much the gauge is, but definitely is well built. So well built that they even built steps. And look at this view. day three in Taiwan um, I'm gonna be quite honest I've been hit by jet lag super hard and every time I edit I just basically fall asleep because like I would usually get around 11 uh, when I get home and right now it's 5 48 a.m. Uh, I'm really disappointed in myself because I thought I'd be able to do daily vlogging uh, so like, I definitely need to do some catch up. Um, once I have the time, I definitely will. Anyways, today's gonna be one of the s uh, second day at Cha Time. Uh, it's gonna be bringing us to their uh, planned excursions. Uh, today is gonna be going to uh, Cha Time Tea Factory, tea factory and That's then the headquarters. And then as well as we're gonna be heading towards uh, Taiwan Sky Bridge. Uh, it's gonna be one of the most intense uh, experiences ever. But we should be out of here in like about half an hour. I'm not gonna lie, this breakfast place is pretty good. There's so many foods I've never tried for breakfast before. I know. Not me, I'm not. So we just finished breakfast, and now we're gonna head upstairs and grab our luggage. So this is ice cold Earl Grey uh, with sugar. Mm. It tastes so smooth. Mm -hmm. oh. It tastes very, very light of the matches coming through. So that, this tea base, we don't have the exhibition in Japan, the Japanese buyer, they quite like this flavor because they think it's quite yeah. connected. Uh, try out some new flavor and it tastes a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. It smells so like fruity. Yeah, just whisking the matcha. This is matcha tea. Yeah, exactly. It's like a really dark green. It's very concentrated and very different from how uh, matcha tastes with sugar. <laughs> so I expect this to be really bitter and kind of uh, displeasing. But this the smell smells like how matcha, like ice cream or like matcha or something like that. Smell like. Oh, it's not as bitter as other ones. But it's strong. It's strong, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Pure chamomile. Like, I, I always feel like it's very strong. Mm -hmm. Very, very strong. And uh, when you blend with some tea. So the footage you saw a little bit earlier, those were just basically the tea factory. And now we're heading to uh, a famous bridge called the Sky Bridge. It's a really tall bridge that's made of rope. And um, But before we're doing that, we're going to head to so much. How are you feeling? Tired. <laughs> Me too. We just finished up at the Sky Bridge and we walked across it, looked at the view, and just relaxed and we'll be heading out to eat lunch. So we are currently at Qing Shui again and uh, we just finished our little tour at the Sky Bridge and now we're just eating lunch. This is a Korean hot pot, Korean 
Military Hapa. I don't know what the name was. Something like that, but it has a lot of stuff in there. And then she got spicy seafood tofu soup. <laughs> it's a long name. Like yeah. Is it burning? <laughs> this metal thingy Hot. burned me. Yeah. How's it? Uh, let me try the soup to tell you. Mmm, it's good. Alright. So there's melted cheese, ham, instant noodle. It's a variety of stuff. And there's depoki. I think there's depoki. Or maybe it's fish paste. I think it's fish paste. Mmm, it's so tasty. Okay, let me try the soup since I've just been eating the fish paste. Mmm, it's good. So right now we just arrived at the Cha Time headquarters, what we're here really all about. This is actually owned by, when I first learned it, La Cafa, which is a cafe. And under their brand, they have Cha Time. So right now we're inside La Cafa. I hope you guys can hear me, I didn't want to be too loud. Um, but it's a very simple coffee shop and like cafe where you sit down and eat. And um, apparently this is the only La Cafa left in uh, Taiwan. They phased out La Cafa, well they didn't phase it out, but they uh, converted a lot of La Cafa into Cha Time. <laughs> And, um, yeah. La is the parent brand of Chop Time, Bay Code, and a bunch of other things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Including gyoza and ramen. Honkatsu. Honkatsu, so ramen. So a lot of, lot of food. Um, and right now we're waiting for some representatives from La Cafa to come down to meet us. And apparently they say the CEO of the group will be coming down to meet us. So there's these Cha Time products that we don't have. But this is premium jasmine milk tea. I'm pretty sure it's like a packet and you just put it in hot water. This is selected milk tea. And this is supreme oolong milk tea. Apparently, um, it's kind of risky to bring this in Toronto uh, through customs and borders because it's milk related. Um, but hopefully, Cha Time will recognize this and try to uh, promote it in uh, or sell it in Toronto. So this is a Cha Time Lounge. This is one of their new experimental places. It's a sit-in, sit-in drinking franchise. It's my new best friend. It's, it's my new best friend. <laughs> so the. Cha Time Lounge is on both sides. How blown away are you by the Cha Time franchise now? Really huge, growing still. Yeah, and it seems like it's such a energetic company. They want to do more and more to be able to. Yeah, they're really passionate about what they do and definitely want to continue that like expanding. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished shooting at the Cha Time Lounge. Got some free Cha Time. And this is my bear for the day. My friend for the day. And uh, yeah. Definitely a really dope place. Hopefully we'll see this in Toronto soon. So right now I'm in this restaurant. This one. And it's also under the Kafa, which is our corporation that runs Cha Time. And a um, whole group is here. This is a farewell meal. Uh, we're going to be eating Hongkotsu related stuff.